International. The stock is down close to about 5% in trade. This is despite a revenue growth of 19% on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. The company's profits are on a flatter side if you look at it sequentially. Uh, Mr. Shikhar Agarwal, the joint MD of the company, joins in now. Um, good morning, um, you know, Mr. Agarwal, and thanks so much for joining in. First, if you could tell us the reason for the decline in your net profit margin and what can you guide for F518? Hi, Rima. How are you doing? Hi. Good, good to uh, have you. Yes. Thank you so much. The net profit margin, as if you see, has not declined. Basically, year on year, our net profit has increased 62%. Yes, we were looking at it actually on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. Yeah. Where so the net? Yeah. Okay. So growth has been a five and thirty percent on quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis, uh, Rima, or at the beta level. Yes, that's at the EBITDA level. So we were talking about the net profit margin, which has come at 8.8% versus 10.2%. And if you could give us a sense of what F518 will look like. See, F518, we see further, further growth coming into the company because of the Spain rollout and the Punjab rollout. So the revenue that we captured in the first quarter was a little bit less because of the partial rollout. But going forward, uh, we see full rollout happening and a lot of revenue getting captured. All right, uh, Shikhar, uh, you know, this year we've done around 635 crores approximately. Uh, last year we did around 500 crores. You're talking about uh, Spanish rollout. You have, I think, a couple of orders that you've won, even domestically in Punjab. Could you give us a revenue number? Last year we've done, what, more than 25% in terms of revenue growth. Can you keep up the pace? Can we see an 800 crores uh, revenue top line uh, for FI18? Uh, and also, if you could give us a sense, how much of your revenues are coming in domestically? How much of it is coming in? Uh, from the international market. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I would like to comment on this, that we see our further growth expanding. Uh, this is just uh, two projects that we have backed, and it is, uh, we've just captured a minuscule part of the project in the first quarter. In future, we see we are bidding for 10 more projects domestically in the e-governance sector, and in the same way, we are bidding for 10 more projects in the visa outsourcing space. So we see our further future growth exponentially growing. As you can see, our beta level margins have increased by 120% compared to last year. Mm. And our PAT has increased by 62%. This is by capturing only a small part of our existing business. So we see the future growth uh, to be exponentially well for BLS International. How soon are we likely to hear about uh, the domestic e-governance projects for which you bid for, uh, whether you want it or not? And if you could give us the size and what the competition is looking like and the margins? I would I would not like to comment on the timeline since we are already in the bidding stage. But I can say that we have bid for more than upwards of six projects domestically, in which uh, the result is will be announced within a year itself. All right, uh, and Shikhar. The project size yeah. would be bigger than Punjab. All right, Shikhar, you're not giving us any numbers. You know, uh, your investors, our viewers want to hear some numbers. Uh, revenue, 800 crores. Can you give us that number? Break up the top line number yes. in terms of exports as well as in uh, domestic. Yeah, yeah. Growth, growth trajectory that has been for the past couple of years. I think that revenue could be easily achieved. All right, 800 crores is something that we could work with for FI18. Yes, yes, that is. And how much of it comes in from the international market? How much of it comes in domestically? I think the international market would be upward of 50%. 50%. All right. Okay. Yeah. Your orders like Spain come in at higher margins. I remember the last time when we spoke, you indicated that the Spain order has margins of close to about 30% plus. Isn't that right? Yes, that is correct. Okay, so why not more aggressively bid for these visa projects? I'm guessing the domestic, uh, you know, orders like the Punjab e-governance project coming uh, come in at much lower margins. Uh, absolutely, I would I would agree with you. But we are actually looking at the future right now. See, uh, the, if both the both the industries that we are in, uh, we are probably the market leaders right now as we are starting into a new industry. So Digital India, as we are an Indian company, we still want to stick and we see an uh, increase in margins going forward domestically as well. And visa outsourcing projects, you would see much more projects coming in uh, this year. I managed to get that top line number of around 800 crores margins. Uh, you said they will improve from here. In the last quarter, you've done around 17%. Can we see margin improvement uh, for the coming fiscal? Yes, absolutely. Margins would be improved because uh, most of the expenses have been captured in the last quarter. 150, 200 basis points? Is that possible? Around 19, 20% margins? 
see, <laughs> I, w- I would not like to give you any All percentage, right. but seeing as the trend, you know, we would definitely get a, a good achievement will be good. All right, Shikhar. Thanks so much for joining and giving us uh, some details at least. So that's management sounding reasonably.